So sometimes you get an exposure and you know that you would like to apply HDR toning to it and you didn't have time, say, or you hadn't thought of doing um, three or five exposures. So let's do HDR toning on one exposure using Camera Raw. You ready? Yeah. Awesome. Hype men? Yeah. Very good. Okay. So let's open this image in Camera Raw by right clicking, open in Camera Raw, check. The first thing you do is drag the highlight slider all the way to the left. Second thing you do, drag the shadow slider all the way to the right. Oh, I did. Okay. Increase the clarity and crank the vibrance to add a punch. Now go to the one, two, three, go to the FX. And you can add a little bit of a vignette, which will just darken the corners a little bit. Now, this is my favorite part. What we're going to do is soften the edges too. And we need to use the adjustment brush to do that. So you press K and you'll get taken into the adjustment brush dialog window. And for that, I am going to decrease the clarity a lot, zero out everything else, get a large brush lot of feather and just around the edges you may not even notice it. it's a very slight effect I'm going to take the clarity down okay just around the edges and if you look at it overall let's hit K to exit it looks pretty good So that is how it can look with HDR toning. So we opened up the shadows. We brought down the highlights. We increased the clarity without crazy, crazy edge flow or crazy, that, that nasty kind of gray mid-tone that hangs all over, okay? And I think this looks great. The one thing, sometimes the contrast looks low, so I like to go in to the tonal curves boost the contrast, maybe not even that much. I'm just gonna grab it a little bit here. And I would call that a go. When you're done, hit done. Now, I'm gonna show you one other way to do it. Duplicate this, double click on it. I'm gonna reset this just for purposes of demo. I'm going to open this object and in Photoshop you also have the option of doing some HDR toning. Image, adjustments, HDR toning. Now you have to flatten the document. All right. And let's see. Okay. That's the default. What do you think? Our way or this way? This way, yeah. This way is good. Okay, um, so let's go through. Is there, a, that's a default, let's see, saturated, <coughs> I don't know what that is. Let's, photorealistic, she's just not looking any better. Let's default, I'm not even sure where to start. Uh, you have exposure and gamma, oh, there we go. Okay, you don't use all of these, right? I never use highlight compression or equalize histogram. Sometimes, if I'm feeling crazy, I'll go into local adaptation, but you can see what it does. Is that your friend? Mm -mm. You like this? Mm -mm. Even if you don't like it, you have to lie right now and be like, that is hideous, okay? So let's not be crazy. DBC, don't be crazy. Let's go to ex exposure and gamma. Maybe bring up the expo, oh. <laughs> bring up the, don't bring up the exposure at all. And maybe bring up the gamma a little bit. Ah, that's not so bad. All right. And you are doing the goal of an HDR photograph 
by lightening up the shadow area, deepening up the highlight area, and after this, you can hit OK. And if you wanted to convert for smart filters, you could go to Sharpen, Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask, and you could add a little bit of sharpening to it. I'm going to add a lot just so you can see what it has the capability of doing. When you hover over this thumbnail and push the mouse down, it shows the before, and when you let up, it shows the after. I wouldn't go that far with it. I just I think subtle is better. Hit OK, and then save that file as a PSD. So you can play around with how you choose to treat that one image. I prefer that you do it in Camera Raw. I think you have a lot more control, and you can play around with the settings. All the instructions are also on Blackboard. Or if you want to try in Photoshop using Image, Adjustments, HDR Toning. Any questions? Okay.